Hi there guys, today I'm going to be carrying out a comparison between the Waterman Karin and the Parker Sonnet. These are two extremely good pens in that they both feature a full metal body and are finished with a very very nice lacquer finish. In the case of the Waterman Karin, it's finished in obsession blue with silver trim and the Parker Sonnet is finished with a pearlescent white lacquer with gold trim. Both of these pens take cartridges and at the moment both of them are fitted with cartridge converters. I'm just going to show you the converter for the Karin. And the Parker Sonnet. This is going to be a rather interesting comparison as both of these pens fall into the same price point and there are two very very different pens. Now let's compare the nibs of these two pens. What's immediately apparent from the onset is that these are two very very different nibs. When taking a close look at the nib on the Parker Sonnet it becomes immediately apparent that the fork differs radically from that of the Karim. And this type of fork should give the nib a lot of flex when writing. Looking at the nib of the Karin, you notice that it's curved in both the lateral and longitudinal axes and this actually causes the nib material to become stressed and as a result it will offer very little flex when writing. What I think Waterman was trying to achieve here was a nib with very little flex and as a result offering very consistent ink delivery. Even though the nib geometry on these pens differs radically, both of these nibs are forged from solid 18 karat gold which is rhodium plated. I'm now quickly going to compare the typical weights of these pens as they are both currently inked. I'm going to start off with the Waterman Karin and she weighs in at 35 grams. Moving over to the Parker Sonnet, she weighs in at 27 grams. So let's compare these two pens. I'm going to start off with the sonnet. I'm going to quickly doodle across the page to show her ink delivery. And she delivers ink flawlessly. I'm going to do a zigzag. And also a flawless delivery of ink. Moving over to the Karin. I'm going to doodle with her as well. Showing yet again a flawless ink delivery, as well as a zigzag. And yet again, flawless ink delivery. It's going to drag the pen across the page quickly so that you can hear the sound the nib makes. Okay, I'm going to do the same with the sonnet. And one thing you'll notice is that. The sonnet doesn't make as much of a noise and I would say this could be attributed to the fact that the nib is flexing. The nib of the Karin is definitely a lot more stiff than that of the sonnet. I'm just going to do some horizontal and vertical lines with the Karin just to demonstrate this ability. And I'm going to move over to the sonnet. And yet again, you can see that both pens offer very similar performance in this perspective. Okay, I'm now going to move over to signing my signature with both pens. Firstly, the Karin. As you can see, flawless performance here. I'm going to move over to the Sonnet. And one thing you do notice, yet again, due to the flexible nib, there's definitely a skip in part of the signature. Okay, I'm just going to move the camera closer to the page quickly. Okay, so this is the Karin signature and that's the one with the Parker Sonnet. The tests have shown that the performance of both of these pens is rather similar in most regards. The Karin has a much stiffer nib than that of the Sonnet. And that became firstly apparent when I dragged the pens across the page and you could hear the difference in sound that they made. 
Because the sonnet has a more flexible nib, it definitely seems more comfortable to write with when you look at it from a general perspective. However, when it came to the signing of my signature, the stiffer nib of the Karin definitely performed better than that of the flexible nib of the sonnet. Okay, so although the pens perform rather similarly in most cases, when it comes to signing a signature such as mine, I would definitely say that a pen such as the Karin is the better option. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and found it to be informative.